Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Linda and this is Ashley and we are nurse educators. You are tuning into our series In the Know where we make it simple. Today we are simplifying cardiac landmarks. Right before we get started, as always, we invite you to subscribe to our live videos. If you tap on our face there, you'll have the option to subscribe. Um, so that way you'll be notified whenever we are online. You can also join us on our YouTube channel. Like and share this video with your nursing friends and be sure to follow our Facebook page. You can also check out our website at www.n-powermentnursing.com. And there you can actually grab a hold of our free trial, which includes the entire cardiac chapter. We're just going to touch on that today. Um, and coupon codes and stuff such as this. Um, so today we are, there I am saying um. We just talked about how we say um too much, which is funny. Um, there I go again. So we are going to simplify some of the areas that you listen to the heart. We have a couple of tricks to share with you today. I'm just gonna hold up actually one of the pages in our cardiac chapter because I forgot the iPad, so that's on me. Um, so we have some tricks here to memorize the different locations of where you listen to the heart sounds. You can see down here where it says a pet mouse and then there's numbers two, two, three, four, five. So one thing we never usually tap into as nursing students that's very useful is that our brain tends to remember numbers. This is actually why phone numbers are put into seven digits because they're really easy to remember. So instead of memorizing um, aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral, and that they are at the right second intercostal space, left second intercostal space, see all these words here? Take the words out of it, make it simple. If you can remember two, two, three, four, five, and a pet mouse, you're gonna have all the knowledge you need to know to answer questions about where to auscultate the different valves on the heart. If you're writing the NCLEX, this is commonly um, one of the hotspot questions where you have to actually click on the location where you would listen to one of the cardiac valves. So what does this stand for? Two, two, three, four, five, what am I getting at? If you look down here, this represents the rib cage and these are intercostal spaces. So this is the first rib, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. So the first intercostal space is in between ribs one and two. The second intercostal space is in between ribs two and three and so on and so on. So two, two, three, four, five stands for the second intercostal space on the right, the second intercostal space on the left, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And then a pet mouse stands for, as you can see here, aortic, two, pulmonic, two, herbs point, three, tricuspid, four, and mitral, also known as the apical pulse, also known as the point of maximal impulse, which is at the fifth intercostal space mid-clavicular line. So you can see, instead of memorizing and trying to remember all of these big words, you just remember two, two, three, four, five, a pet mouse, and you're gonna know the right answer. Now, the second trick on this page, and one of my very favorite tricks, is a common question in nursing school as well as on the registration exam is where do you listen to S1 and S2? So what does S1 stand for? That is the lub of the lub dub of the heartbeat sound. So S1 and S2, it's always, are they heard louder at the apex or the base? So a really easy way to know this, and you'll know this forever and ever, you'll never forget it, is to use an upside down triangle. Why we use an upside down triangle is because the heart in our chest cavity is actually an upside down triangle, right? The base is up here and the apex is on the bottom. Conveniently, there is one point at the bottom of a triangle, S1 is louder at the apex, and there's two points at the top of the triangle, S1, two, S2 is louder at the base. So in using this upside down triangle, you're always going to remember there's one point at the apex, S1 is louder there. There's two points at the base, S2 is louder here. So S1 is louder at the apex of the heart and S2 is louder at the base of the heart. So these are just a couple of the hacks located in our cardiac chapter of our textbook that we wanted to share with you today. Um, you can go to our website, download this entire cardiac chapter, which is a whole bunch of pages. Um, through a free trial on our website, you get full access to the cardiac chapter. There's also a coupon in there for you to use as well. If you're looking to gain all the confidence, critical thinking, and content you need to pass your NCLEX or CPNRE exam, we have complete NCLEX, NCLEX PN, uh, CPNRE, and bridging course packages. We guarantee you will pass or your money back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on In the Know. Bye for now.